जय संस्कार चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो टिल द टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सुपर पावर इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ लीग ऑफ नेशन इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशंस वॉट आर द चार्टर्स एंड एम्स ऑफ इट वॉट वॉज द सिचुएशन विच इज कॉल्ड क्यूबन क्राइसिस एंड एंड ऑफ सेकेंड एंड ऑफ कॉल्ड वो विल स्टार्ट विथ राइज ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट नेशन इन एशिया इंडिया अचीव इंडिपेंडेंस इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन आफ्टर लॉन्ग फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल ओविंग टू ब्रिटेन्स पॉलिसी ऑफ डिवाइड इन रूल and certain other reasons country was divided into two nations namely india and pakistan in the same way with continuous struggle against britishers countries like sri lanka myanmar got independence in 1948 in case of indonesia the united nations played an important role asian countries like laos Cambodia and Vietnam to got independence so these all our countries are belonging to India and they got independence okay next rise of independent nation in africa the second world war proved to be a good omen for enslaved nation of africa africa na certain uh, st- कंट्रीज एवं था कि जे स्लेवरी करता था खाली के ने के गुलाम गुलामी करता था तो दिस वॉज अ सैकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर नो एंड दिट वॉज ऑल्सो बेनिफिशियल टू धोज नेशन्स आफ्टर द सैकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर कंट्रीज लाइक अब्सिनिया इथोपिया साउथ आफ्रिका एंड इजिप्त वर इंडिपेन्डेंट द सैकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड freedom struggle in asian countries inspired the other african country too it resulted into in that during the tenure of 16 year that is from 1951 to 1966 40 small and large country became free imperialistic countries tried to have supremacy over this country but these countries either joined super powers or military resources and get their freedom they took help from the super power or from the military resources but anyhow they got their freedom so this is the independence in africa previously we have seen how rise of independence was happen in asian countries next non aligned movement non aligned movement this is a very interesting topic it is like you are not in a single part you are not belonging to one super power you are not part of it you are not supporting that some new nation adopted the policy of non not to align with any of the two power block of military blocks they decided that they would maintain equal distance with both the blocks these nations were identified as non aligned nation and their foreign policy was called non aligned policy their policy is known as non aligned policy those neutral nation they did not want to adapt the ideology of either of super power of the world wish to have an all round development maintaining its unique existence under the leadership of india's first prime minister jawaharlal nehru indonesia's first president sukarno egypt's second president gamal abdel nasser ghana's first president kwame nkrumah and yugoslavia's president josip broz tito got thumbing support for movement in this non alignment council 23 countries of asia and 6 countries of africa were present the organization was founded in belgrade in 1961 known as nam that is non aligned movement under the leadership of prime minister jawaharlal nehru the policy of non alignment was formed nam completed valuable leadership nehru believed that 
movement continues to see a role for itself as in its view the world's poorest nations remain exploited and marginalized no longer by opposing superpower but rather in a unipolar world it is western hegemony and neo colonialism that movement has really realigned itself again it opposes the foreign occupation interference in internal affair and aggressive unilateral measure but it has also shifted to the focus on socio economic challenges facing number facing member state especially inequality manifested by globalization and implications of new liberalization liberal policies and indian aligned in the non aligned movement has identified economic under development poverty social inju- injustice as a growing threat to peace and security so under the leadership of jawala nehru people certain nation also joined him and this was a thing like you are not being part of any of the super power you are maintaining same distance with both the super powers and just by doing so they will stay keep or protect themselves from the wage of war because small country countries was were being exploited or marginalized so that is why this unique idea was of jawalal nehru and he was trying to uh, keep distance from this two pa- super power blocks besides these countries were just freshly independent so they also required to develop their own nation they also required to uh, remove certain kind of social challenges it could be poverty it could be any other superstitions and etc but they uh, they need to focus on that they need to focus on the development okay so that is why war or connecting to any super power block would be harmful for, th- for them so this was a great decision by himself today more and more countries have joined non aligned movement union summit was held at kuala lumpur on 13th may 2013 13 may 2013 for the last four decades many incident have happened with in disintegration of soviet unions russia's power decrease america emerged as a superpower imperial policy decreased to minimum in other countries in this situation non aligned movement played a dominant role the non aligned nation with their non aligned policy were successful in contributing towards the world politics the non aligned movement was successful in showing off its moral import for mo- maintaining world peace stopping wars maintaining human society and nationalism as well as the superpowers are top adopting the attitude of disarmament so this all there is a big con- contribution from non alignment movement because people were not getting into uh, supporting one or other groups or power blocks that is why entire world was getting peace out of it partition and unification of germany germany was a main cause behind both the world war it faced humiliating defeat in world war 2 all its state administration and economy collapsed completely there was not a single large party left in whole germany that could rule the nation in addition to that there was a fear that germany would pose a threat to world once again if it emerged as a military power once again therefore defeated germany was divided into four administrative segments the soviet red army in the latter phase of war had captured the eastern part of germany therefore it was accepted as eastern germany would remain in their control 
where as it was decided that America will control southwestern side of Germany. France would control its area near France, while Bernil would control area of Germany bordering Belgium and Holland. So, as you can see, for first and second world war, for both this world war, anyhow Germany was considered as a threat or responsible for these two wars. So, situation was that once Germany was defeated at that particular time, there was a no particular group, uh, group which can become as a superpower or who can rule Germany. So, it was also considered that the Germany would be threat in future time also. So, to stop this particular thing, Germany was divided into four parts and America, Soviet Union, France and Britain. These four countries have captured certain part of it and they were controlling the, that particular part of Germany. America, France, Britain started thinking about certain alternative arrangement. Meanwhile, an atmosphere of distrust and doubt had already started between two power blocks. America and other Western European countries established Federal Republic of Germany. This was administered jointly by America, Britain and France. On the other side, the Soviet Union also declared East Germany as a democratic Republic of East Germany. Thus, after the war, two independent German states came into existence, namely West Germany democratic and East Germany which was a communist. As Germany's three western segments were united, three administrative segments of Berlin also united. In a reaction to this, Soviet Union in April 19 April 1948 declared Berlin blockade. This resulted into tremendous tension between Soviet Union and Western country. Later on, a high and 42 kilometers long wall separating Western and Eastern Berlin was constructed. Communist government tried to prevent thousands of East German citizens from jumping and entering into free atmosphere of Western Germany because it was a democratic while East was a communist. Many people lost their lives in doing so. After about four to four and a half decades, Western Germany made an astonishing development expert considered this as a German miracle. This was no remarkable change in economic condition of East Germany. The East German communist government crushed all the hopes of its people and political freedom and rapid economic development. Till 1990, many important and far-fetching changes took place in international policies. Owing to many reasons, the Cold War among the superpower also ended. This year's witness crack in otherwise imprengible Germany, imprengible Soviet Union. Ultimately, Soviet Union was disintegrated as a con consequences of it. On October 3rd, 1990, both the Germany united. People broke down the German wall, which was a symbol of German division. People considered demolition of Berlin Wall as the end of Cold War era, celebrated the occasion wholeheartedly, made tremendous effort to be strong economic nation in the last decade. Today, it has become one of the most important and leading nation in European Union. So, after cutting Germany into four parts, there was a situation of mistrust, mutual, mutual lack of mutual understanding and this all lead to once again being a part of it, making other other groups into one into another. But at the end, at 3rd October 1990, People have cut down that particular wall which was situated as a part of Germany. People have cut down that wall. Uh, there was a, again a thing in democratic Germany, there was a huge 
development which is considered as a german miracle okay while communist country was not doing so much so well so that's why after certain time on 3rd of october people have cut it out down the wall which uh, between them and they have celebrated so not just this particular miracle or germany the efforts of non alignment movement independence of asian and african countries okay the cold war phase was stopped ended next is disintegration of soviet union during the last decade of 20th century soviet union's prime minister mikhail gorbachev liberal policy led to disintegration of soviet union peaceful disintegration of soviet union is considered as a epoch making in international policy mikhail gorbachev became prime minister of socialistic side on 11th of march 1989 he had liberal attitude russia had progressed tremendously in the field of science and technology they also had acquired capability of compete with superpower like america gorbachev adopted two policies blasnost and perestroika in this way Gorbachev introduced economic and political reform in place of single-hand communist rule. The stronghold of communist party, the Soviet bureaucracy and Red Army started weak. In 1990, the process of disintegration of Soviet Union began. Towards the end, 15 state, 14 state become independent out of 15 state 14 state become independent and disintegration of soviet union came to an end at december 1991 okay so we will uh, stop over here we have seen how disintegration of russia soviet union has happened okay that's all for now thank you